what's up everybody i am erica and i am here to watch the glory part two which is episode 11. so i'm into part two i'm about to watch episode 11. um so episode 10 was excellent like all of the episodes are excellent um some are <laughs> more excellent than others uh Episode 10 was a more excellent episode. So, um, basically they got her, well, okay. So the Avengers, right? Dung Yoon, boyfriend, Dr. Boyfriend, and the nurse. They, um, they, well, um, the bottom chick, Hai Jiong had her come and meet her at the plastic surgeon's office. And basically the conversation of getting fillers and Hai Jion getting it and it not being a big deal for her. And then she poured like all the salt possible into the wound of, hey, this is my Hermes bag. She was like, okay. And she was like, you know, a very rich man bought it for me. Okay. Your husband, girl, you might want to check on him because he bought this for me with no strings attached, boo. So I think that made her even more like, yeah, I'm better than her. So I can get this procedure here just like she does. I also think that she was intrigued by Dr. Boyfriend's um, sense of humor. With the umbrella thing, that ongoing joke, I think that stuck with her. Like she liked his personality. Fine. So uh, she comes back for the procedure. Now, again, if it hadn't gone this way, I don't know what they would have done. But she told him, put me under. I don't like the way it feels when I'm getting injected. Which some people don't like needles. Some people don't like to feel a needle go into their, you know, go in their skin and stuff like that. So... I'm sure that's not really crazy to ask for that. It seems like a simple enough procedure, but it, I don't know. Sticking needles in your forehead and on your face may not be pleasant. I don't know yet. Yet. So, you know, uh, when she goes under, they start asking about what happened to Myung, And basically, we get to see it play out again. And then towards the end, she can hear the doctor or the nurse talking and she comes back and she realizes what she's done. Now, the interesting thing is he was kind of chuckling when she was coming to. So is are they going to admit that they did that to her or will it just make her feel even more crazy? That will be interesting to see. Uh, we're just going to jump into it now. So um, episode 11 of The Glory starts now. Crack that noggin. Does she have keys to this establishment? Oh. That's how she got the scratch. Girl, you know you killed him. There's a whole ass body leaking blood that you got to deal with, girl. It's just getting bigger. That's, you see that whole long body, that that blood coming out. I told you them dummies got rid of that body. I bet that condom flew somewhere that they didn't get. She need to be smoking like three at a time. What is she looking for? Mm -hmm. He don't want to ask that. He don't want to know the truth truth. Nigga, 
个。Damn. He want to have sex with her. EP. Say, girl, <laughs> let me heal you. It's been so long. This is what she is. Her life without those scars, she don't know what that life is. That would be, that would be a little dramatic for her. That haircut. Um, why is you taking pictures with the, mm -mm. I don't trust it. Maybe because I live in America, I don't trust it. Oh, she can read English. That sounds condescending, but <sighs> sorry, that was terrible. Is that Dior lipstick? She don't trust it. She a bitch. She a sociopath, but she ain't crazy. No, ma'am, that's you, not me. Like, really? From the phone to the... Is everybody going to be able to find out what the hell she did? This is stressful. This girl needs to get on this plane. Oh Lord, please let this woman get this child on this plane. I don't... This baby needs to get on this plane. I need this child to get on this plane. Ugh, fuck me in the ass. That was rude. She's never met him, though. Cuz. Her hair looks so... <laughs> it's so many outward things that look so good. Her hair, her clothes. Her hair is herring today, okay? Oh, 
No, girl, go. Go, y'all. I want to fast forward this so bad. God damn. I hope she get to try the Uve pretzels from Trader Joe's. They're really, really good. Girl, get on the freaking plane. I know, I know, but you got to get on this plane. He's like, I hope she's thinking of me while she closed her eyes. Oh, that's got to hurt. I want to fast forward so bad. She playing him, but what? <laughs> what is she doing? What's it say? I know that your daughter killed somebody. Who sent that? Oh. I am an Avenger, okay? So that was quite the episode. That was episode 11 of The Glory. I was quite, it was quite suspenseful for me. Um, as you can tell, it was, it was excellent. Um, I, I have to start from 
the end and work my way back. That's what I think works best for me. So um, I wonder if the police chief saw them. They made it seem like he saw them, which is very plausible, I guess. But why would they... I know they do that in TV shows and movies when people are in a car and it's at night, it's still illuminated. So you as the viewer can see the people in the car while they have dialogue or whatever they're doing in the car. But if they are driving at night, I don't think it would be as illuminated as it was. So I don't know. Did he see them? They're making it seem like he did. Uh, maybe they don't care at this point because uh, they got her talking and, you know, during uh, the anesthesia, the propofol. Um, if the bottom chick, Hey Jong, she has an O in her name too. But Hey Jong, if she wants to, she can give that audio to um dong yoon dong yoon she could um if the investigation decides that he is dead and uh they press for more information from them she could just give it directly to the police now giving it directly to the police would not be good because the chief would probably try to discredit or get rid of it some type of way also jaejong if he can recover the video data um, the security footage from his um, store. Oh, her goose is definitely cooked because he would use that. She hasn't reciprocated. She told him she's not leaving her husband. So she hasn't reciprocated any of his advances to make the relationship, you know, more than what it's been. They friends with benefits. But if he wants that little girl as much as he says he does, which he decorated that room like crazy. I think it was a Jeff Koontz balloon thing in there, like expensive stuff. Um, so if he really wants to cook her goose, that, that, that security footage recovered would help. Um, I will say that, uh, young Jun, she is not stupid. Like I said, plenty of times, she's not stupid. She is trying to catch up. It, I mean, she is really trying. Um, she's using all of her resources. She's using all of her free time, which is literally all she has. I mean, she does have that. I forgot that quick. She does have um, that job as a meteorologist, but she doesn't spend a lot of time doing that because she doesn't write her own stuff. Uh, her assistant does that. So she writes her own stuff. She just shows up and does the weather and goes home. Like she, I mean, like that money is nothing to her. You know, she mentioned that maybe five episodes ago. Like this money means nothing to me. I think 2 million won or something like that. She's like, that means nothing to me. So, um, she is trying, she's trying her best to catch up, uh, it will be interesting to see what exactly Do Young, her husband, meant when he told Dong Yoon that he wants to keep seeing her. I don't know if he meant that I want to keep seeing you because I want to keep playing Go and the satisfaction he has with playing somebody um, that definitely challenges him. Did he mean it sexually? Um, did he mean it in the manner of... I need you to keep talking about to me about what she did and the pain that she caused in your life to help me leave her because it didn't sound like he was happy about like when she realized, um, she was like, I really do love him. When Jejong was trying to get her to leave. Um, she was like, no, I don't think I'll be doing that because, you know, I do love him. And when he was talking about her to Dong Yoon, it was really matter of fact, which is the type of person he is. Um, 
I don't want this to start my next episode. Um, but that's the type of person that he is. It's just cold matter of fact, it seems like. And so talking to her, he was like, yeah, I'm not going to leave her. I, I don't know what the reasons are. Maybe he's just like, she's a disaster, but she's my disaster. Um, this is the woman that gave me my child. I don't know, but it didn't seem to be because of love. Um, in contrast to Dr. Boyfriend at the end, when he was explaining why, (laughs) why and how deep he's an Avenger, he, um, you know, it it was completely the, the feeling uh, and the manner in which he expressed why he is sticking around was a lot more emotional and uh, come across sincere. I don't know if that's the right word I'm looking for. Then when um, Do Young was explaining it, it was very cold. I'm not leaving her. I just realized I'm not leaving her. And he was like, I need to see you again. So I don't know what that means. I don't know. This show is so crazy and so good. If they just had a little bit of magic and some dragons, this would be some great Game of Thrones. This would be, you know, Korean Game of Thrones because this is so good. Um, the uh, Sun Ra, Sun Ah, Sun Ah, Sun Ah. Um, she made it on. She made it to America, which thank God I was really worried about that. That was so stressful to me um, because I don't want anything bad to happen to the children. Right. Um, and she was already getting beat up by her daddy. So <sighs> it's just a lot in this episode. Please comment. Let me know what you think um, in the comments below. Uh, if this is your first video, please check out some other shows that I've watched so far this year and uh, check those out and comment on those as well. And uh, please subscribe. Uh, I want to get to a certain point and then I can start a Patreon and have some unedited um to for people to watch so some unedited reactions to watch i couldn't get that sentence out so i will be back for episode 12 man we are almost to the end